So finishing up a couple days at Yellowstone National Park. This was my second stop on my journey to Alaska for the summer of 2023. So uh, have, a, have a watch. I've got some decent videos of wolves, bison, pronghorn sheep, and photos of them as well. I didn't do any landscape photography here because I was pretty focused on trying to get uh, the wolves photographed this year. Um, so it's may, maybe a little too uh, focused in on that, but at least I got some shots of, of the wolves. Uh, no close-ups, but from, uh, from a distance, but I was happy to get them anyway, especially when they were interacting with the bison um, um, herd. So have a, uh, have a watch, uh, comment, like, subscribe, and uh, I'll see you next time. Don't forget, get outside. Hello, good morning. I'm in uh, Yellowstone National Park in Lamar Valley area, driving through this nice little herd of bison coming through. Got a bit of a bison jam here with all the people. Beautiful warm day here. Seen plenty of bison before and anybody that's been to Yellowstone, I'm sure you've seen them as well. If you've never been to Yellowstone, this is common occurrence to find these small herds of them going through, especially in Lamar Valley. So quite a sight to see no matter how many times you've seen them before. Big, beautiful animals, especially when you see them in a herd. Looks like they've got a lot of calves out as well. So they're starting to uh, migrate to another location, it looks like. second day in Yellowstone National Park. Camped out uh, in the park last night so I could uh, get up early in the morning and try to find the wolves that were reported out here. Sure enough I was rewarded with a pack of wolves over on the ridge line. I know it would be difficult on, uh, on this but I'll show you some video in a second uh, with the telephoto lens. So we found a pack there's about 10 uh, wolves over on the ridge and then a uh, herd of bison moved through and it was quite interesting watching the standoff between them um, it never looked like the wolves actively engaged in trying to hunt but uh, there were there was clearly cases where the bison chased off the uh, uh, the wolves themselves but it's a little far away. I, yeah, I'm gonna guess it's terrible, terrible judge of distance, but probably a mile across to there. So I'm using my um, 200 to 600 millimeter lens to get it as best I could. Um, I have to see what uh, what they look like once I get them on my computer and try to clean up the images. But uh, hopefully, I got a couple uh, that at least show the pack and uh, some of the interaction with the bison going through. So. Boy, what a wonderful morning to be able to, to witness that. I've been coming to Yellowstone for multiple years, and it's the first time I've uh, 
seen uh, any type of encounter um, with the uh, uh, bison. I wasn't able to get any close-ups of the uh, wolves, but just to see them in that uh, in nature like this was uh, just quite a sighting. So uh, thanks for joining for now. This will probably wrap up my uh, session in, in Yellowstone. Thanks for joining along and, and just another reminder to get out here and experience these kind of things. Yeah, uh, just get outside. Thanks.